Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Mirko Media. I appreciate you guys coming and check out this video today because I have a lot to tell you. Very important stuff. And it's going to be a video that's going to help you out for the future because it seems like a lot of people use eBay. And I'm pretty sure you want to know why I need to make this announcement. So. incident actually with a gentleman i would assume i'm not sure i don't even believe half not even half of the information that he's told me so i had an inquiry on ebay after i had put up an item for sale his inquiry was check out the quality of my equipment that he was buying it for his daughter and that he wanted an overnight shipment he later then relayed in the information in the emails that he was willing to pay more to get the overnight shipment because he wanted it in an urgent fashion. So I was hearing him out and immediately with his urgent request, which I never get requests like these, people usually ask a question about the quality. I answer very quick, simple, done. If they want it quickly, I never get anybody. I, I do priority shipping. It's one to three days and it typically gets there really quick. Nobody's trying to pay any extra. This is eBay. This isn't retail. So people aren't really trying to pay anything extra. So with that being said, the gentleman attempted to scam me out of my equipment by providing fake information, stating it was from PayPal, stating it was from eBay, Go to go ahead and speak to eBay, that all this is legitimate, and it was not. So... I want to go over with you guys a couple things to keep an eye out on to make sure you're not scammed out of your equipment, out of your gear, out of any products that you may be selling on eBay, uh, OfferUp, and Craigslist. Um, it could be any other platforms, but those are the ones that I've used and I've received, if not almost identical, from similar to identical inquiries. And they've gone in this and they've gone in that same fashion. So. Number one, you want to keep an eye out for such inquiries as that. If they start giving you a reason why they're ordering the equipment, why they're trying to buy from you, that they're needing it urgently, and that they're willing to overpay, you need to, that should raise a red flag. Because you need to see, first off, where they're trying to have you send it to. And you look at their profile. Hopefully, their profile will match Hopefully it matches the country because ha like the majority of these are in Europe or completely out of the country, not not in the U.S. Some of them are in U.S. and they are still scamming you as well. So don't just go off of that and think you'll be fine. Uh, also, you'll want to check their profile after seeing what country they're at. Look at their reviews and their activity and what language they speak in. Some of these profiles that are hacked from a foreign country are don't even speak English, but they're the person that's communicating with you is speaking perfect English. And what happens is these people that are trying to scam you speak perfect English because they're hacking from the United States, a foreign profile, and then they're communicating with you paying with some fraudulent card. And they're trying to provide a fake payment and get all that done and trying to trick you to ship out your equipment before you even receive any funds. They might not even use a card. They, don't, they probably don't even have to use a card to do it. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. After gathering those clues and those flags are raised, make sure that when they're, that you realize that the overpaying and all that, that, that should be an immediate stop to the communication. And you can either leave it as is or have or request to have them pay what you're really asking for. If you want to take an overpayment, that's up to you. But if they're paying a normal price, if they're paying the requested price, the proposed price, then it won't look suspicious to eBay or PayPal as to why you're receiving a payment. The reason why is according to a CNET article 
and a New York Post article that I had read, which was back in 2013. So this has been going on for a while with the same third-party company, which I will mention in a bit, that's assisting these scammers to provide fake emails to make it look as if you're getting a legitimate payment. Okay, after reading these articles, it was determined that these buyers are stating that they made an incorrect purchase and they appeal that and they bring that up to PayPal or eBay. They state that it was a fraudulent purchase and typically eBay or PayPal, I'm not sure which one it is or who actually decides, but they give the money back to the buyer and they state that this was a false. This was done under fraudulent circumstances and then they end up getting their money back and then I don't know if you get duped out of your equipment per se. I didn't see that part, but I do know that they do end up paying them back. And a lot of the times, even on multiple YouTube videos that I've seen from other people stating some similar uh, situations is that that money gets sent back to the buyer. So I would request if that they buy with the appropriate amount of money, even though that might sound weird, but if it's too good to be true, it's probably because it is okay. Next, you should definitely ensure that all your communication is made within the app or the website that you're using to provide this transaction or to engage in this transaction. I would deviate from any email communications, from any text messages and anything like that, any WhatsApp or anything uh, so that you can ensure that the company that you're providing the item through that you're selling through can document all the communication that's been made. And so you don't get duped out of not being covered through their policy. Okay. Uh, a lot of these guys will try to get you to communicate on emails and all that stuff. And they're, that's just not going to go well. All right. So the final and very big detail, even though it's so tiny, such a tiny detail that you need to notice because you will probably get scammed if you don't notice this. And if you, if you trust PayPal, which a lot of people do, hence their security stamp on the bottom stating that it's a secure payment and a secure website, people will lose out on money and probably lose out on their equipment as well. So just before I get into that, this last reason why, make sure that you're documenting when you're shipping out these items to cover yourself because sometimes the people will state that you never shipped it to them and that you sent them a pile of rocks, which reflects the same weight as what the camera was or the drone was or anything like that. And that you sent an item that was not the equipment. So then they end up keeping the item and then they get their money back and you get left without equipment and you get look and then you look bad. So I would record it with your phone if possible or camera or whatever that you have available to document that you actually dropped it off at the post office or FedEx or UPS, whichever parcel service that it is. Okay, so that main detail that I was telling you about. Okay, when you use PayPal and any communication that's done via PayPal, typically when it comes to any funds that are added into your account, PayPal will send you an email to let you know that it's reflecting in your account and who made that payment. And that email is sent by an email that says service at paypal.com. Okay. That email is not titled. It only says that email. When these scammers try to tell you that they have funds already been transferred to your PayPal account, even though it's not reflecting in your account, because supposedly once you ship it and send them the tracking information, those funds will be available. That's false. Do not do that. So they get a third party company to send you an email with an exact template. It looks amazing. It looks great. I would believe it for sure. If I didn't notice this little detail, the PayPal template looks great. Just like a real payment, just like a real payment confirmation. But on the email on the top, it says, and it's titled the email that the service at paypal.com email is. Remember, the PayPal email is not titled that. This third-party email is titled that. It's in the same font and the same size, which looks like a real email from PayPal. But below is the actual email that it's sent from, which is payment, comp 
payment at confirmation.com or something like that. And that is the scammer's email. They're sending you a fake template of a receipt confirmation that the funds were transferred in your account, which it is not, even though the scammer is telling you it is and that email gets there. Number one, you're probably receiving it in your spam or junk email. So that should definitely be a no-no and you should not be messing around with that. Also, if you happen to get it in your regular inbox, make sure you pay attention. If you're not sure where that email is being sent from, I would suggest that you click not any images in that email. Go to that email and click reply and automatically populates the sender's email to your to section on that email. Whatever email populates in there is where you would it be responding to, which means that's who's actually sending you that email in case you're not sure what email is being sent to you. So if you do it that way, you'll see that if a guy is scamming you, they're going to show on the reply and how it populates the email where that is that it's actually coming from. So make sure you keep an eye out on that because that is definitely a tiny, tiny detail. Um, so that's pretty much all that I have. Uh, in regards to that, if I come up to anything else, I will definitely let you guys know. Uh, I felt compelled to telling you guys, like I said, I saw articles from 2013 where this was going on. And this is definitely not not cool at all. It, it angered me. It pissed me off. And it's because it not only happened once, but within a span of about three to four weeks, it happened about eight to 12 times. I had people inquiring. I had people telling me they're from Texas, that their son or somebody or whatever, they want to do a gift and they're offering to pay much more. Like those are all flags and you guys should be keeping an eye out on that because you guys don't need to be getting duped out of equipment or anything like that. So all you scammers out there, you guys need to cut the crap out because that is very disrespectful. And I worked hard for for when I got that camera, that was my first camera and that camera's done a lot of work for me and I'm selling it and upgrading and doing stuff and I need that stuff. That's propelling me to do what I need to do. So I was pretty upset when all that was going on and yeah, so I made this video for you guys. Hopefully it helps you. Hopefully you guys can see that um, those things can can be a little too good to be true when such offers are given. So doesn't mean that they can't happen, but you got to you gotta read the clues, you know, and put two and two together and hopefully uh, the not so common common sense can kick in and, you know, you can catch it before they catch you slipping and then you lose out on stuff. So, yep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was uh, more than enough information to keep you vigilant and to be wary during uh, these times where everything is being shipped out and received in that manner. So be careful out there. And if you have any questions or anything else that you would like for me to cover, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you think anybody needs to hear this, please share it with them. This is this is a very, very important thing to see if you are selling um, or doing any type of transactions and such on eBay or OfferUp or Craigslist. Okay? Thanks, guys. And don't forget to subscribe, to like, uh, comment, share it, whatever it is you guys feel the need to do or what you would like to do to help me out because it would help me out um, to get the word spread out about not only my channel, but, you know, information such as this that help people out. So, all right, guys, thank you very much. And I hope you guys have an amazing day and I hope you guys stay safe out there.